Hello, I would like to show you how to create a window uh, minimally uh, that starts from a class. So the reason is because of my Nature's and Teams needs to make independent windows. And for that I start with SFML minimal. It follows up, up from the a previous video of mine in which if I run it produces a minimal application. It's not very complex, uh, but it's still uh, it's still not in a class. So what I want to do, and I'll just comment it out first, is that I I want to write something like a SFML dialog d d dot exec, and I want to put that in a class. Well, we can already get the framework started, like the, the scaffolding. We make the class class and with a semicolon and it has a member function called exec done so this code already compiles um, it says that exec though is private and it is completely right at the top we should put public so now it works you can you can see it here if I run it exit code is zero uh, but it doesn't call this code yet well to make it call that code we just put it there there it is and if I run it now it works or right, there are some things that you may want to change um, so if I press escape if I close it, it closes. That's nice. So one thing you may want to modify is that this window, probably there are a lot of functions in the end that will use that window. So the first thing you want to probably do is make that window a private variable, a private member variable. Private. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to put that thing here. Done and now it doesn't need that window anymore but there are some new things that will pop up uh, at first I'm going to rename it to m underscore window and here as well because it's a member variable and I like to prefix them with m underscore window but um, this thing this line cannot be run uh, it should because at the moment that we reach exec the M window should already be, be initialized. So we need something that is called a constructor. So a constructor is a member function that has the same name as the class itself. And here we are going to write, so, so something we would like to write is this. M window equals up. That means that construction when I create an SFM dialog, which is in this line, it will create the window. Let's see if it still works. It doesn't, and that's completely correct. So this is something we may like to do, but this is not the optimal syntax to do so. You need to add, use an initializer list, which works like this. You put the things over there. You add a curly brace around it. Then you can remove the class name. Move the semicolon at the end, and here we have it. Another thing you may want to do is to put these, to put this SFML dialog in a unit. To do that, you go to the profile or, or any project file, or in this case, this thing. Add new. We're going to add a new C++ class. We're going to call it SFML dialog, and then it creates a file called SFML dialog and there are some stuff that's already in there actually most of the things we already wrote so I'm going to first copy everything in main.cpp that was our window there she goes and put it I put in the header file first 
So this is our header file, and this is not optimum, but the header file should contain declarations, not definitions. And declarations are uh, that the compiler knows what go comes in and goes out of a function, or what it exists of, and definitions are uh, what it's actually doing. So I'm just going to copy this, just that, that I don't need to... I'm just going to put it here, but this is completely incorrect. What I'll be doing I'm now can safely strip off everything that is not a declaration. So this is the declaration of an SFML dialog. It has a constructor, it can call exec, and it has a window. But this won't compile yet because it doesn't know what an SFML render window is. For that we need to copy a header file then the color will change, I assume. Alright, it compiles first this thing, then we'll, we'll, we'll include that. Oh, oops. Alright, so let's take a look. Let's see if we can run it. Not yet. It doesn't know the render window yet, so that means I probably need this thing as well. And here you see that it's getting colored. Nice. So this is the declaration declaration of SFML dialog. And to make it running, you also need to fix the definition. So this is the .cpp file. Here we do the definitions of SFML dialog. And to do that, now we only have to specify what are these things. So the constructor is this look will look like this. And this exec needs to look like this. And now we have written down our definitions of what it's doing. Let's see if it compiles because sometimes oh, it compiles awesomely. So what I've showed you here is how to create an SFML dialog in a class. Actually, you can remove these now. How to put an SFML dialog in a class. In the header file, it contains the declarations. And in the CPP file, it contains the definitions. Alright, good luck and enjoy.